Hey guys, we're just going to be harvesting some turmeric this afternoon. Um, this is just a small bed. Uh, we've been harvesting the main market garden beds with the turmeric and ginger for the last few afternoons and uh, I think we've done about 100 kilo of turmeric so far. Um, but this little bed here still should produce a decent amount. Of, you've probably got about oh, four to five square meters tops in here at the moment. We've already taken a little bit out, but I'm just going to show you what we do. Um, the very first thing obviously is to pull the, the top mulch off. This is when the turmeric's died back. So we're just going to get out of the road. This makes great mulching around the orchard. All right. And we just start from the edges and work our way out. So and then another there, you'll just a little clump, these are only little fellas. Try and get the bulk of the dirt off. We'll try and get a nice close-up for you of uh, how you break this up. So you obviously you get the soil away. And you're just looking for the weak points to break it. So you give it a little, you give it a little nudge. You feel it's loose there. You can feel it cracking away. The idea is you want to split those crowns, and that's a crown, and that's a crown. How you can tell a crown comes to a bit of a point, has roots coming off it like this, whereas the fingers or the hands, if you like, um, don't have any roots coming off them. Okay. So you're looking for the crowns, and you peel the crowns away. They come away pretty easy. And you can see off one crown is all these fingers. So what you want to do is you want to try and keep all the good bits of fingers like that. And you leave a couple of little rhizome nodes, little fingers coming off it. And basically that's going to be your next planter. That's what you're going to put in the ground. And when you plant these, you're going to have a hole. You're going to plant the crowns in. You're going to run the soil gently around and you're going to leave the top just slightly exposed just up to the top of it and make sure your soil is nice and friable like that is right you should be able to move your soil around if your soil's got too much clay in it and it's a bit lumpy you may want to think about making it a little bit more friable and adding a bit more organic matter in so then we just separate now so we've got three boxes behind us or two boxes in the tub we have a box for crowns that's our planting box we have we have a box for our fingers, that's our eating turmeric. And we have a box for a little bit, a bucket or tub or box for little bits and pieces, which we end up mashing up and giving to our chooks, our goats, our ducks. I mean, you add it in with their meal and they're getting all the good, healthy, healthy uh, nutritional value, the same as we do from the turmeric. And we just give them a little soak just to soften up the soil around it and then we tip it out and we spread it and look there's nothing too complex about all this this is what you just do on your yard uh, then we just hose it down and then we just start we give them a good old blast with the jet So what you're trying to do is just get the bulk of the dirt off. You don't need to make them spotless. You just want to salvage most of that soil, put it back in your garden or your lawn, whatever you've got going, but ideally, you're just trying to not let it leave the property. It's the hardest part of the whole thing, really, is just doing the separation from the crowns, the main edible rhizomes, and then the little bits and pieces that you actually uh, then feed back to your chook, so it's just a little bit of a separation and, and uh, grading process if you like. Final hit down. See, that one's ready to be put on a rack and dry out. We let it dry for two days and then we store it.